Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout using the Scraptastic February kit. This is the 20th layout using this kit and it took me an hour to complete. And I'm just showing you some of the stuff that I might be using. I only have a few full sheets of pattern paper left and one of them was this chevron paper from October afternoon. And these are a couple of pictures again, or a few pictures, four pictures from 2006. We, um... At that year, it was so horrible where we were, like they were on our vacation, all they were forecasting was rain. And then when we start looking across Canada, it was rain. So we decided to go south and drive till we found sunshine. And where we found sunshine was in Boston, near Boston, and it was this beautiful campground. And we stayed there for a week, a week and a half or something like that. And uh, this was at night. Uh, by the campfire and we always have um, books in the you know in the trailer and it's like ghost stories and so we were my husband was trying to read the stories to the kids by the campfire and in the first picture you kind of see him bending towards the fire trying to read and it was almost impossible so then he went and got some string lights that you hang around your trailer and he put it around his neck and he was reading the ghost stories that way so the, the kids thought that it was quite funny so i just wanted to record that and i'm going to take that um chevron paper i'm going to cut down two pieces one for the top and one for the bottom i basically am going to make two different clusters of photos um, one at the top of the layout and the other one at the bottom and the top part is going to have uh, journaling and the bottom right there is just going to have I'm going to make my own uh, little campfire using the wood veneer that came in the kit and at this point I'm just trying to figure out you know if I'm going to mat the photos or just keep them in just unmatted I'm, I am going to decide on matting the photos so I um, trying to think what color I wanted to use. I know I want to use a Project Life card for the journaling. So I start looking through my small packages of Project Life cards. And I just find they're so, mu so much more accessible. Like they're tiny, they're right there. I can just, you know, pull a package out and go through it. I think as I finish off um, packages of these, what I'm going to do is just take my bigger core kits and just build little mini kits with those with maybe a card of each or something like that and then you know they'll be a little bit more accessible than having to pull out that big core piece or core kit i decide on this gray project life card because there was one little piece of gray pattern paper that i wanted to use and so i co coordinated it with that really well and now I, like I said, I want to use a wood veneer that came in the kit and it was a flame. So I use some Hewer Arts um, daubers. I use the um, Red Royal one and then the Butter Bar. And I'm just kind of mixing both of them. And it's kind of making it so that it's an orangey flame looking um, fire. <laughs> and so I'm just going to keep playing with it until I have the color that I like. And then I'm just going to set it aside and let it dry. And then I'm going to take some cardstock, some brown cardstock, and I'm just going to randomly cut it and just, you know, make some pretend logs. So at this point, I want to leave that wood veneer kind of dry. So I just took a scrap of cardstock and I'm going to just cut rectangles out of it and I'm going to um, try to make sort of, you know, cut it so that it looks like logs. I'm not the most perfect person to, you know, make logs, but I just kind of did a rectangle. It kind of rounded the edges. That was uh, as far as I got. Um, I'm going to try and put one of them that's a little lighter so it looks like different colored wood. And um, I'm just going to decide on all the dark one. And I showed you the side of the paper that it was all like hacked and it was one of the cats got to my cardstock and thought it was a toy or something anyway it chewed through my cardstock it was just a scrap so it didn't really matter 
So it's been a few days since I uploaded a video. We, as of Sunday, and Sunday was, let me see if I can go back on my calendar, um, in March, March 30th, we started a huge storm here, and my son was in a hockey tournament, and, you know, our last game, at uh, the finals, it was massive storm outside anyway they ended up winning the finals and I'm going to do a page on that shortly so um, go into bigger details on on that story but anyway the storm started that day that night we lost power and we didn't have power again till Tuesday about 5 30 p.m. so all my days off I ended up with no power I only so I couldn't scrapbook or anything and um Wednesday was my last day off and then I had to catch up on all those days that we didn't have any you know power so I had to do laundry and vacuum and all that stuff so I didn't get to do much and then I went back to work um, yesterday Thursday and it's um, during the week it's super 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 busy so you get home and you're just brain dead and um, so I just came home and went to bed because I had to get up again at four o'clock Friday morning so um, I might be uploading a video every two days or every three days for the next little bit until because um, I'm working five days in a row so until um, further notice I guess um, I thought on my days off I was gonna again get six you know seven pages done and I didn't get any done so um, so we'll see we'll play it by ear and so at this point I mounted my photos on orange cardstock and then um, I glued down the project life card the pattern paper and now I'm gluing down the fire with the wood and the last piece of wood on top I kind of put some foam tape so that it looked like it had dimension and now I'm going to work on my title and I love using these October afternoon daily flash uh, letters I'm going to use the black ones and the orange ones and then I love that there's always two alphas that come in each package unless it's a chipboard the chipboard comes uh, only one one alpha but if it's just a sticker then on the other side it has square letters and I'm going to use those two and then I'm going to use my Teresa Collins alphas too so this this uh, page sort of has a title and then a little subtitle on the side so the title of this page is ghost stories by the fire and then at the campground and then right beside the fire I put I put uh, or string lights because we kind of did both you know by the fire and with the string lights so at first I'm going to use the same alpha, like the orange alpha, but then I'm going to change it up because I want a different uh, font for fire. And I'm not sure if I want to put it in the middle of the page, if I want to put some cardstock on either side of it, if I want to put some washi tape, because um, it kind of feels like it's kind of floating right there in the middle. But then I kind of like the break between the top of the layout and the bottom of the layout so this is a washi tape that we had gotten in a studio calico kit a few months back and I tried it on the layout and I don't like it so the great thing about washi tape is that you can just pull it off and it doesn't wreck your page and then I decide on this new washi tape that I got from from Simon Says Stamps but I can't remember who makes it, it might be Doodlebug anyway it was one of my last um, hauls and I love this washi tape it has little cameras with little hearts so I kind of put it at the top of that two inch space and then sort of at the bottom and then I'm going to put uh, my title my title in the middle and um, I'm going to use that at chipboard that came in the kit and then I decide on those little alphas for by the and then I'm going to build something at the top of the layout with just a tab, some washi tape, 
a little flag and then just a little bit of my own enamel dots that I made myself. And now I just pulled out my Teresa Collins, their um, black background with a white font and it's sort of um, an outline, outline font and I just absolutely love those alphas. And I'm going to spell out the campground with those. So it's going to take me a few, few, ca few seconds to um, put those together. And as you can tell, like I just got those not that long ago and the first sheet is almost, um, almost all gone. And those letters, they're white with like a white background with a black letter. Well, my background for this layout is a cream. So they really stood out, at least the, the, the one with the black background and the white. It's just a little bit, but the other ones from Teresa Collins have a white background. So what I did was I just took one of my markers, my distress markers from Tim Holtz and um, I just colored it in and it was with a scattered straw and then I just took a piece of uh, like a Kleenex or a paper towel and then I just wiped it down and then it looks like the the background of those alphas were vanilla or cream to match my uh, cardstock in the background. So again I'm just looking for different alphas and most of them are from October Afternoon or Teresa Collins. And at first, uh, and I think for the whole layout, I'm going to leave um, or string lights right on top of the photos. But then just before um, I take the pictures, I move it and I put it right beside the fire. And then there was a little card that came in this month's kit and it just said the good stuff. And I'm going to put it right by the fire and then I'm going to take a piece of transparency and I'm going to put it over top because again it's really too white for the cream background so I'm going to tone it down. I'm going to take the backing away from that flag and I'm going to put it at the top of the layout and I'm going to have to add some glue onto that because those things they just don't stick enough. And this is where I decide yeah this is just too too bright so I'm going to have to find some way to use um, those tra that transparency and just cover it up. Just trying to clean up a little bit. Just trying to keep my, at least that little area so that I can <laughs> find what I need. And now I'm looking through my little stash of enamel dots that I made myself. And if you haven't seen that video yet, you can go back. I'd say it's less than 10 videos. And it's uh, make your own enamel dots using uh, perler beads and pony beads. So I'm going to pull out three colors. A black, a cream, and an orange. Okay, so the recording at stop. So basically what I was saying was um, these are some enamel dots that I made myself and I have a video on my YouTube channel. It's less than 10 videos ago and it just uh, make your own enamel dots using pony beads and perler beads. So you can check that out and make your own enamel dots and have a ton for super cheap. And now I'm going to scatter those enamel dots around the two clusters and like I said I decided on the black a cream and an orange and then I use my quick dry adhesive to glue those down but if you don't like the messiness of it I would just use a glue dot and glue them down and I believe oh yeah then I took out my black and white twine I'm gonna ball it up into little lasso looking little clusters of twine and then I'm going to again glue it down with my quick dry adhesive. One by the fire and then one at the top of the layout. Now I'm going to take out my box and some inky black Mr. Huey and some glimmer glaze in orange 
and I'm just going to splatter in two different areas. You know, the two areas that there is um, embellishments. And then I'm going to show you some close-ups of each of the little clusters and then some pictures of each of the clusters. If you want to see more close-ups, you can go, you can join me on Facebook. The link is in the description. On Twitter, Pinterest, a cherry on top, two peas in a bucket, Scraptastic, the blog, and the Facebook group, and Instagram, and all those I'm under Nicole Jones 911. So that's it. The page is done. So thanks for watching. Bye.